Yeah, I just had a sense after my marriage broke up that God was going to use me for something. And then after a while, I started to really wonder after some of the murders if it was God or if it was the devil fooling me. Haunting words from a serial killer, a former nurse who was supposed to help her elderly patients, but who instead intentionally killed them and tried to kill others with overdoses of insulin. I'm Christina Howard outside of the Woodstock Courthouse where Elizabeth Wetlaufer has confessed to killing eight elderly patients. Now, nobody knew why these victims had died before she started talking. Nobody questioned it. But once she started talking, she tore a, a hole through the hearts of her victims' families. She picked her victims because she was having a bad day. She was overwhelmed by her workload, and she was. Uh, she just decided that this is the patient I'm going to. I'm going to relieve my stress on and and their life. It tore me apart. Tore me apart to hear how she killed my dad. Can you believe this? And she's sitting there, no expression on her face, had everything planned out. Elizabeth Wetlaufer started killing in 2007, just weeks after being hired at Kersant Care in Woodstock. She started intentionally injecting overdoses of insulin into her patients. First, Clotilde Adriano and then Albina de Medeiros. She was charged with aggravated assault in both cases. I didn't really want her to die. I just, I don't know, I was just angry and um, had this sense inside me that she might be a person that God wanted back with them. By August 2007, she had committed her first murder, 84-year-old James Silcox. She told police, I had a sudden urge to kill him. I wanted him to die. Wetlaufer went on to murder seven other elderly people by the same method for reasons that weren't entirely clear. Sometimes she blamed the victims for their demands on her. Sometimes she claimed she heard sudden, spontaneous divine voices. Because part of me had started to believe that it was the devil. And part of me thought it might be God as a purpose through my life. She recounted her crimes to police in a cavalier sort of manner. She joked about which cup may contain vodka before showing some level of remorse. I know that it wasn't God, and I'm ashamed of myself that that happened, but I also think that it was mental health. Still, families aren't buying it. She wouldn't have done this over such a long period of time if she had any remorse. What she did was cold and calculating. And she did it with forethought and foreknowledge. And some were calculated. We learned Wetlaufer planned to kill a home care patient in 2015 and even tried to steal insulin from another patient the day before so nobody would notice the extra doses missing from Beverly Bertram's stash. Beverly survived the overdose. She blends in and the frightening thing about it is is that when you look at her you don't think monster. And that's what she is. She's a monster. Wetlaufer was cruel and calculating. For example, she called a hospital several times to inquire about the status of one of her victims when the insulin she injected him with didn't kill him immediately. In another instance, she actually fed one of her victims blueberry pie and ice cream before injecting them with a fatal dose of insulin. And today in court, she said she understood that she will be serving a minimum 25-year sentence before being eligible for parole.